my mama, she my flavor. She can drink it straight with no chaser. Okay, gang, gang. What is good, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kiana J, and today I'm about to show y'all, oh, tell y'all, on how to get a walk. <laughs> now, if you're 18 and under, I just have one question. Why did you click on this video? I'm just trying to figure out why do you need a walk? Baby girl, don't focus on no walk right now. Well, you need to be focused on a walk. Walking across that stage to get that diploma. You know, stay in school, don't worry about these little boys right now, because majority of them just wanna wham, bam, thank you ma'am. And if you ain't heard it from nobody, you heard it from me. But on another note, for my grown folks out there, it's good to have you here. If you're not already, go ahead and follow me on my platforms and definitely subscribe to me because it's free. Now let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, if you want a wop, your kitty cat cannot be smelling like a sour mop. You cannot have a wop if you're constantly itching down there, which can mean that it's dry. If you have excess discharge or discomfort at some point in your life, that's gonna prevent you from getting wet naturally. Let me tell y'all something, feminine hygiene, that ain't nothing to play with. We women, you know? We have to stay on point when it comes to our pH levels. As females, we need to be aware and start taking very good care of our kitty. You know, not only do we need to bathe her and shave her, we also wanna make sure she's not being used as a doorknob where everybody gets a turn. If you did what I'm saying, yeah. Especially if it's unprotected. Now I know BB is very common in women and it's very hard to get rid of. And if you don't know what BB is, that stands for bacterial vaginosis. Vaginosis, vaginosis. Now you see why people shorten it up for BV. Basically what that is is an overgrowth of bacteria normally presented in the vagina. And that normally comes from sexual intercourse, douching. Just keeping it real here, I know douching sounds like doo-doo. You know, before I educated myself, that's exactly what I thought it was. But douching actually is something being soaked with water. And you would think water is the most purest thing that could be healthy for our body. And you know what it is if you intake it through the mouth. But when it comes down to there, for you people with a detachable shower head, or for you freak freak who sits down in a jacuzzi where that water come out at. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, you nasty. You may not want to do that anymore. Now I know some women use douches hoping that washing the vagina will eliminate the vaginal infection. However, honestly, douche may just make it worse. For those who don't know, our vagina naturally cleans itself. So that's why we should just avoid douching because seriously, they can harm your vagina health. Now, I'm not no OB or GYN, but you know, I'm just a friend trying to help a friend. So definitely still get your regular checkups. Now, in the meantime, if you guys do want to save a quick doctor's trip i would highly suggest you guys getting some substitutory which brings us to today's sponsor shout out to nutriblast they send out a lot of goodies that can support your ph balance and the best thing about them they are all natural right now what i have in my hand is their boric acid vaginal substitutory and on this hand i have their substitutory applicator this is a pack that comes with 15 i actually already have one in my hand if you want to walk i would suggest you start with this first and this does come with 30 capsules so if you are suffering from older bb yeast infection, itching, discomfort. I would definitely recommend these because these will be worth your while. Now these aren't something you take by mouth. Your mouth is wet enough. That don't need to get no wet up. These are pills simply for your vagina. And as I said before, I know that sounds scary like, girl, what? Uh-uh, I'm not about to put no pill in my JJ. Well, if you want that Wapsis, and you came to this video to get informed, and I'm telling you I used it and I'm still here, you'll be okay, girl. So basically, this is how big the pill is. This is the applicator. First thing first, what you need to do is sit down. Matter of fact, lay down. Get into this position. <laughs> not a choreography. So what you do is, you take your applicator, pull it down a little, you get your peel. What I like to do is take the thicker side of the peel, drop it in there, and if it need to go down some more, I'll take the applicator and put it down. Get into the position as if you're about to push out a baby. Definitely wanna get comfortable when doing this now. And what I like to do is kinda of spread my legs and bring them towards my face. And then what I would do is take this. If you need to spread them lips, spread them, sweetheart, they yours. But what you'll do then, if you ever wore a tampon, it's basically the same thing. It's just that you're not going to be leaving this up there. So you'll take this. If you need to, go ahead and put the legs up to the ceiling. Watch it carefully. Just make sure the pill doesn't fall. What you'll do is you'll place it into your vagina hole. 
And once you're far enough to where it's probably like half of the applicator is showing, then you can just go ahead and push this bad boy in. And once you pull it in, bam. The pill just found a new home. Just like a pill would normally dissolve if you were to take it by mouth into your stomach. The same works for your vagina. Once it goes inside of her, it will simply melt. Now they do recommend that you guys use this preferably at bedtime. So right before you go to bed, definitely pop this in. And if you are suffering those vagina issues, make sure you take them for seven consecutive days. That way you can give your time to experience the results. Now if your symptoms still persist, definitely just repeat this for another week. And in severe cases, definitely take a substitutory every 12 hours. Now no way, shape, and form does this heal STD. So if you have a deeper problem, definitely contact your doctor to prevent further irritation or infection. Another thing that Nutriblast sent out with their feminine pH test strip. So what this does is help you keep tabs on your vagina acidity and alkalinity. So inside this aluminum foil is just a bunch of strips wrapped in a circle. And what you do is just tear a good piece off and you can lay in the same position I was in not too long ago. And you can insert a swab such as a cotton tip against your vagina wall. And then afterwards you can take that same cotton tip and rub it onto the strip. And from there you can compare your results to the color chart. And it's really that simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I would highly recommend that you ladies get this. This does not require a prescription. And this is gentle enough to be used by women who do suffer from these issues over and over again, especially around the time of your period. I know that's when I use this the most. For example, as common, if you get older around your period, it's safe to insert this boric acid to get rid of the smell. This company is so confident in their boric life that they do offer a 100% money back guarantee if you don't like the product. So for you guys who are interested, you know we had to get you some money off. You can get 20% off your first order by clicking the link in the description box. In order to have a WAP, an odor free kitty, and a healthy V, your pH has to be balanced. Another way to maintain a WAP is certain foods. Yogurt, sweet potatoes, and cranberries are three types of foods that can balance your pH levels and help burn off infection. So with that being said, you know, Thanksgiving is like right around the corner. So whoever bringing the sweet potatoes, that candy yams, you better get that extra plate to go. <laughs> if you don't like yogurt, quit being childish because I'll tear up some yogurt ice cream, okay? Now cranberries, uh, yeah. I'm not too much of a fan of cranberries, but if you hand me that juice though, I'll make it work. Those are all foods that will help balance your good bacteria with the bad. Another thing that will help you get that is making sure that your vagina has a nice cut. So let me introduce y'all to the holy grail. For my ladies who are still fans on shaving, first and foremost, we wanna make sure we're using a razor with five blades, not two, not one, but five. It just makes the process much quicker, less painful. So I'm gonna show you guys the products that I use to shave to keep my kitty clean and squeaky. Tell them what they clean, I tell them what they squeaky. They just give me brain, cause all of the niggas be gay. I know y'all like, no, you got a song for everything. But I've always been like that. <laughs> now I do use shaving cream, not shaving foam. I just feel like shaving cream is a much better moisture. And the two that I've used and grown to love is the EOS Shave butter shave cream and the truly beauty cocoa cloud whoop shave butter they both have a vanilla smell only difference is this one does come with shea oil and aloe vera this one has coconut milk argan oil and it has a vitamin e boost now they both are animal cruelty free the main difference i'm pretty sure you guys want to know are the prices you can find the eos one at target for about four dollars and as far as truly beauty this can be found at ulta now this one is a little bit more pricier so running about twenty dollars however i did mention this in a previous video with this brand so if you guys want to go there and check out my coupon code i will leave it here so you guys can go check it out now with this one being a little bit more expensive a little more bougie i use this on special occasions only honey this here can be an everyday every other day shave but this here something about to pop up now after shaving let me tell y'all something that you need in your life to keep the razor bumps away you guys need to invest in this. This is a bottle of aloe vera gel and this is by the brand Lily of the Desert. Y'all this has changed my life so much. Y'all this is great. This is like a bottle of greatness in my hands. And then it's organic. Definitely high quality. After I shave, get out the shower, pat dry a little bit, I'll take this amazing product. Now it does come out kind of liquidy, somewhat jelly. So I'll probably spread like one or two drops in my hand. And then what I'll do is like 
Clap it one time. I guess that give it a little bit more magic. <laughs> and then from there, I just pat it all over. Pat that thing like a tamarind. I also use that for my legs, my underarm, anywhere I shave. That's my go-to right afterwards. And I promise you, you will not get irritated. Aloe vera is very healthy for your body. So kiss those razor books. Goodbye. Because after using this, your mind is gonna be blown. Now the last thing I suggest to you guys if you wanna get that whoop is having the right mind, honey. If you ain't got the right mind, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, you're gonna be drier than your bottom lip and don't try to lick it. <laughs> if it's not you, don't let some of these guys out here make it seem that it's you. Your stuff must be dry, why you ain't trying to do nothing? You know why? Cause I'm not feeling you, player. Because if the right man come along and he treating you right and you digging him, Oh, baby. Alright, so I'm done. I hope you guys learned something from this video on how to get a WAP, keep a WAP, and maintain a WAP. If you did, don't leave your girl hanging. Definitely thumbs up this video. Let me read some comments on what you guys got in mind. Or if you feel like, you know, you can put me on something new, you know, go ahead. Take me to Drown Town. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to the vibe. Let me go insert one of these pills, and I'm off to bed. Thank y'all for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.